There's no denying that it was history making one month ago when Kamala Harris was sworn in. And it's also safe to say that a lot of people were pretty excited about her becoming vice president of the United States. However, there is one group in particular who was more excited than everyone else. Dulce Sloan has more. Kamala Harris is a lot of firsts. She's the first black woman to be vice president, the first South Asian woman, and the first Veep to come from a black sorority, which is itself the first black sorority. Now, when most people hear the word sorority, they're usually picturing something very specific. So I sat down with three women from black sororities to explain why it's such a big deal to have a vice president from the Divine Nine. So first of all, for those that are not in the know, I uh, know, but some people don't know, what is the Divine Nine? The Divine Nine are uh, nine uh, black Greek letter organizations, uh, five fraternities, four sororities. Picture it like the houses in Harry Potter, except this time with black people in them. These organizations uh, are founded at the undergraduate level. Um, as a whole, we really focus on giving back to our communities. In addition, you don't stop serving at undergrad. And honey, you will still be a member if you die. Lifetime commitment. So when you say life, you mean I'm out here building HUD houses to the day I die? Is that what we're doing? That's right. Really? Even court-ordered community service ends at some point, but the idea of serving the community has been at the core of the Divine Nine ever since the early 1900s, when black students barred from white fraternities and sororities decided, F y'all, we'll do our own thing. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated was founded in 1908 on the campus of Howard University, and that is the very same chapter that our vice president was initiated into. So educated black women gathering in the early 1900s, and nobody got arrested? Well, no one got arrested, but there was resistance from the administration of Howard uh, University. I'm sorry, you're telling me that a historically black college did not want black women students to organize as a group. Well, there's something called, you know, sexism. Uh, and never forget about the misogyny. But misogyny be damned, the sororities continued to grow and so did their demands. The very first act of the Deltas uh, coming together in 1913 was the march in the famous women's suffrage parade in, in Washington, D.C. We knew that some of the organizers of that march wanted black women to be segregated and march in the back, but black women refused to do that. That's the weird kind of paradox that black women live in, where it's, I'm going to a black college, but they don't want us to organize. And then as a woman, I'm trying to get the right to vote, but because I'm dealing with white women, now I have to deal with us being segregated. So we kind of just sit here and just go, all right, who's gonna hate us today? 